हेलो वेलकम एवरीवन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन वेदांतु टुडे इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो आई हैव ब्रॉट वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग आई एम श्योर यू विल लाइक इट दिस इज रिलेटेड टू जे एडवांस पेपर दैट कंडक्टेड डे बिफोर यस्टरडे दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ पेपर वन आई विल लाइक टू टेल यू टू थिंग्स अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन वन इज दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज एक्चुअली कॉपीड कॉपीड फ्रॉम सम सोर्स दैट इज काउंटर एग्जाम्पल इन कैलकुलस मे बी दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट सोर्स मे बी फ्रॉम समवेयर एल्स दे कॉपीड बट द ओरिजिनली आई थिंक वी कैन से दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन हियर वेयर इन आर्टिकल फोर पॉइंट थ्री जीरो सम थ्योरी इज गिवन एंड देन दिस एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन एंड यू कैन मैच इट इज एक्जैक्टली सेम थिंग ओके दे हैव ओनली एडिड सर्टेन ऑप्शन हियर सो दैट इज वन थिंग द सेकेंड थिंग The, this question at many places is not uh, is not solved properly as you know solutions were coming after jee advanced i will like to tell you my method and then you can see what should be the correct way of doing this question in fact in this book also they have done exactly same which i will be telling you okay here my first option is that function is not differentiable at x is equal to 0 because function is continuous at 0 you can check and you can very easily see when f dash 0 by first principle because in such function we have to do it by first principle only so it will be limit h approaches to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 by h so this becomes limit h approaches to 0 okay this two will get cancelled one h will also cancel that h so we will be getting minus h into 2 plus sin 1 by h you can check this calculation okay now please see as h tending to 0 sin 1 by h will be oscillating function between minus 1 to 1 so this entire thing will be oscillating but still it will be positive between i think 1 to 3 between 1 to 3 but as h approaching to 0 whether from positive side or negative side this will make this entire product to be 0 hence my function is having lhd rhd both to be equal to 0 so this function is differentiable so this option is wrong now this b option now many people have done one mistake first i'll mention that many mistake that by taking this expression because this is positive so if you're taking rhd right and derivative your h will be positive and because minus sign is there so entire thing will become negative so it looks like it gives a feeling of that function will be decreasing for some h positive so in this b option there is a positive real number delta such that f is decreasing function on the interval 0 to delta so it looks like that if i take very small delta this option b will become correct that is absolutely wrong let me tell you whenever you are finding the derivative other than zero in this question is type in this type of question you are not supposed to use first principle at zero or you are not supposed to use the function at zero let me give you example suppose you are finding the derivative at very small number let's say epsilon okay then by first principle it would be limit h approaches to 0 f of epsilon plus h minus f of epsilon upon h now whatever small epsilon you choose let's say 10 power minus 100 10 power minus 1000 or whatever if you are getting this limit you will never ever encounter f0 in between if epsilon is very small h is even smaller okay so both the things will never ever use function value at 0 so there is no use of f0 here so whatever thing we are getting here if you are using this for this thing also i think this cannot be relied upon okay so what is to be done for this i think we should just do the differentiation using you know product rule or quotient rule whatever okay so here if you do the differentiation what you will be getting we will be getting minus 4 epsilon for epsilon only and minus a 2 epsilon into sin 1 upon epsilon and plus cos of 1 upon epsilon okay now the important thing here is as your epsilon is very small if your epsilon is very small you will find this thing tending to zero but cos of 1 by epsilon will be oscillating between minus 1 to 1 so the entire thing will be almost oscillating between minus 1 to 1 okay so whatever small number you choose you cannot claim this f dash will be always positive or always negative so saying that this function is decreasing on the interval 0 to infinite is wrong okay in fact on both sides whether on 0 to delta or minus delta to 0 you cannot say it will be decreasing or increasing that's why option c is correct for any positive real number delta the function is not an increasing function 
it is actually neither increasing nor decreasing it will be oscillating this derivative value will be oscillating and also this is local minima i think you can check it easily that f dash this f0 is 2 but limit x approaches to let me do it here limit x approaches to uh, 0 fx would be 2 minus x square common and 2 plus 1 by 2 plus sine 1 by x okay so you can see for x approaching to 0 this is a positive quantity because sine 2 plus sine 1 by x is a positive quantity so this will be less than 2 this will be less than 2 so 2 is a point of minima 2 is point of maxima not minima okay so that's why this option is also wrong now please see how they have done they have done exactly the same thing they have found f dash x and then through the graph they have shown that at x is equal to 0 the value is 2 which is a local maxima point okay it looks like because it's a maxima point so after that it will be you know decreasing but you can see here f dash x at near to 0 will be oscillating between minus 1 to 1 like this so at any point near to 0 you cannot claim it to be negative only or positive only so in this question answer should have been c only okay i have given you one more question here this actually was the question of vedantu test that was conducted in march this option one only please go through it here it looks like this option is correct which is not i am giving you just example x square sine 1 upon x square try to do it yourself and see that why a function is differentiable on 0 to 1 actually this function is fx is equal to this for let me write it properly the function is fx equal to x square into sine 1 upon x square for x not equal to 0 and 0 for x equal to 0 so for this example please see why if function is differentiable on closed interval 0 to 1 but still it is not bounded it says must be bounded but it is not you can check for with this example so this was all for this session thank you so much i am sure aapko ye, you must have found this session interesting so thank you so much bye bachcho